Hello, it's Steph from Jack and Steph's Workshop, and I'm here to show you how to put together our flickering pumpkin pin. This project is a piece of cake because it uses the absolute minimum number of parts. Everything is going to be soldered to the back of our shiny PCB. Here's what the backside looks like. It's, um, it's messier, but that's what backsides are for. Uh, your kit will come with four LEDs, a battery strap, the pin and a pin back, and you'll have to bring a coin cell battery, a marker, some solder, and a soldering iron. Let's get started by having a closer look at an LED. The anode, the positive side, is the long leg, and the short leg over here is the cathode. So we can test our LED by putting it right onto the battery, and it should light right up. And we'll see that the flickering happens right in the LED, nothing else needed. Here's what it looks like behind the pumpkin. And let's also notice while we're here that some of the circuit shows through the back side. And if you don't like the cyber pumpkin look, you can take care of that real easy. This is what you need the marker for by just filling in the right side of the pumpkin and a little bit on the left and a little bit on the top. <sighs> now let's, um, let's do our first soldering. We're going to put a little solder right here on the negative battery pad. This just gives the bottom side of the battery something to connect to. And our next step will be to put on the battery strap. The arrow shows the direction that the battery goes in. So in our case, uh, it will be pointed down. To start soldering, I'm going to heat up the battery strap and add a little solder on top. This is going to help conduct heat around to the sides because we really want to heat up the pad underneath as well. That's how we're going to make sure that we get a good bond. And don't be afraid to use your finger on the far side. The strap gets warm, but it doesn't get too hot. You can nudge it into alignment. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. If you've chosen to put Sharpie on, you'll notice that uh, the solder is not bothered at all by the Sharpie. So here we can see it flowing both on top and underneath onto the pad below. So I think, yep, that looks like a good joint. And to be sure, we can insert the battery now and see if our strap holds it in place. It should be firm, but not impossible to slide the battery in. If your strap pops off, you might just need some more heat and some more solder around the edges. Our next step is going to be the LED. Long legs always go towards the inside. And we're just going to fold this over before we solder it onto the board. So there's these little notches you see, and I fold just below those little notches, about 90 degree angle like that. And I also will need to ooh, spread the leads apart just a little bit so that this thing stands up on its own. That'll just make it easier to attach it to the board. So let's tin up this pad here. You can see I just hold this against the pad and I add the solder right at the joint where the soldering iron meets the pad. And then we can pick up our LED and the same thing, I will heat up the pad and also the leg of the LED. And you can see the solder kind of flows in between them. That's how you know it's hot enough. And here we'll see it cool off. Ooh, nice. That's a good joint. Same thing on the other side. And in no time at all, we're going to have our first LED attached to the board. So congratulations. The next step is to trim off these long legs. I have a pair of clippers that do a nice job of this, but you can also use like fingernail clippers. Just don't use your mom's nice scissors. Now cutting the legs this way will leave kind of a sharp edge, but don't worry about that because in our very next step, we'll take care of the sharp edges as well. We're going to take the LED and just bend it over so that it lays on top of the corner of the mouth, covering the sharp edges. And it's great to have these long legs because you can really adjust these LEDs and get them in the exact right place. And since you're probably impatient like I am, I like to test these things right away. So I just go ahead, grab the battery, stick it in, and see if I get a light. Boom, look at that. First try. If you didn't get it on your first try, you most probably have your LED backwards. So remember the long leg goes inside towards the battery. And I did this on purpose to make sure that if you get a little extra solder blob and it touches some other pad, it really shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm just going to skim through this. We'll go through this pretty fast because it's all the same. If you've done one, you've done them all. At this point, we're like 75% of the way done with the project. Congratulations. So once I've got the LEDs soldered on, we're just going to clip off the legs again. And then we're going to lay the LEDs down on the back side of the board. So let's just swipe this stuff out of the way here and I'll show you in a nice close up bending the LEDs over. They should line up pretty well with the cutouts beneath them, 
But if they don't, like I said earlier, the leads are flexible and it is easy to adjust them. Okay, so now I think it's time to do a test. Let's see if we can get all four of our LEDs lit up. We'll insert our battery and yay. You did it, all four of them. Next up, we're gonna put the pin on. See how close we are to the end? I like to put this kind of sharp edge that it has near the top. And I use my soldering iron and that little notch to kind of hold things in place while I add my solder. Again, making sure to get it all around the edges. There should be just the perfect amount of room left to slide the battery in between the pin and the LED there on the right. If your lights don't all light up now, the most likely culprit is a short somewhere. So make sure you haven't accidentally connected two pads. Last step is to add this pin back and then, wow, everybody, we, we got to the end. Here's our shiny pin. All we have to do now is just do our last adjustments. This left eye was a little dimmer, so I'm gonna bend down that light. And here's a cool thing, check this out. The LEDs reflect off the side of the battery, and that's what helps give our pin the nice glow around the edges that it has. So you can adjust your LEDs there to make sure that they're reflecting nicely. So when you're ready to turn this thing off, I don't know why you ever would want to, but if you do, you can just slide the battery up and the pin back here will catch it and hold it in place. That's our off switch because this is a minimalist pumpkin pin after all. So there's our on off switch and that's, that's it. That's, that's the whole thing, everybody. I think it looks great. I think you did a great job putting it together and I hope you have a fun time wearing it out in public and I hope you get lots of questions and people say, did you make that yourself? And you say, absolutely I did.